Hello, this is Miguel Colombo bringing you the daily headlines from www.maryjanecolombo.com. The Times didn't arrive yesterday here in a sleepy area of the West Coast. Sorry about that. Here we are with the New York Times, Sunday, October 30th, 2011. It seems that the U.S. is planning a buildup in the Persian Gulf. Of course, we are exiting Iraq by the end of the year, and we're going to build up in Kuwait. Where was that exactly? Oh, I remember. Kuwait. We also have outside groups eclipsing the Republican Party. I think these guys are more the Republican Guard. Give them a call. Drop them an email. Visit Carl Rove here in Rosemary Beach, Florida. Speaking of Florida, here's a guy running for mayor of Miami Beach. That's not the city of Miami, by the way. His name is Steve Burke, and he is a card-carrying medical marijuana user. I like this guy. Here's what I think. Not necessarily what he thinks. A gentleman by the name of Bob Beaumont passed away. The guy tried and failed to start an electric car industry in the U.S. Now we are starting down the right path, sort of. The Volt costs 39 grand. A Honda Fit costs 15 grand and gets 33 miles to the gallon. It's remotely possible that you could pay the price difference in 100,000 miles of driving. Really more like 200,000 miles. Assuming you pay nothing for electricity. Assuming you pay over 7,500 bucks a, a year in federal income tax to take advantage of the tax credit. Here's a piece of news that occurred the same day that Gaddafi died. Citigroup got caught selling securities and shorting them at the same time. Just another case of corporate greed and corruption. Here's what I think. Don't pay your credit card bills. This is Miguel Colombo signing off from www.maryjanecolombo.com.